Hi, I'm Karen Alari. Thank you for joining me in my studio today. This is my cat, Pootie. She helps me and is my studio companion. In this course, we're going to be painting fall color, this, this little painting here. And the way the course is laid out is you will have videos showing you how to do each step, how to prepare your materials, and how to complete the painting. Take as long as you like. Be sure to upload photos of your progress in the comments or ask any questions you might have along the way and I'm more than happy to help you out and get you going in the right direction. So have fun, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you in the class. The ones in the back are more subdued colors. We call that neutralized and you'll hear me talk about that a lot to say let, now let's mix ourselves a neutralized purple or a neutralized orange. And the way you neutralize a color is you go straight across the color wheel and you mix a tiny bit of the complementary color. So straight across the color wheel is, a, is the complementary colors. So if I'm trying to neutralize an orange, I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue to that. If I'm trying to neutralize a red, I'm going to add a little bit of green. Our shapes of our trees in there. So we're going to make a dark color. And just like we did when we were doing our, our practice, we're going to uh, do that with our blue. I'm going to use this Quinn Gold up here, which is our dark gold, dark yellow, and red. So all three primaries are going to make a dark color. And if you adjust by looking at the color you have, you can get it uh, to be a very dark dark. So. Here's our first brush on the side, doing the, sort of a scrubbing motion with this uh, round bristle brush. I'm reshaping the top of that hill by adding a little bit of a lighter value and then blending it in. Whenever you want to blend with acrylics, you have to come in right away, rinse off your brush, dry it off mostly with your paper towel, and then you can blend the layers together they'll dry quickly so if you want to blend an area you have to come in right away and blend it. You can't uh, wait for a few minutes and then come back and blend. You have to keep your eye on your edges and blend them as you go. That's what, Here's some red orange, a little bit of white and I'm using that rolling motion and I'm rounding my brush to create those rounded tops of the trees because I, I'm really focusing on what I'm leaving behind as far as brush strokes in those top edges. Rinsing the brush, drying it off in my paper towel, and now I can blend those bottom edges. So instead, look at your painting and look at where your painting is going and what it's wanting you to do. It's it's gonna have its it's gonna form its own shapes, it's gonna go its own direction, and it, you don't wanna try to make it be something it's not, but instead Keep looking at the things that are working in your shapes in the, that you've put down. Okay, now that you're happy with the tree trunks, we're going to move on to the foliage. I took the red there and I added a little bit of ultramarine blue to it. So that made it a little darker. This time I'm adding some Quinn Gold to it as well as ultramarine blue. So that's going to make it darker as well as move that red back into more neutral. So I'm again starting with my darks and then moving into the lighter colors. Using that round bristle brush and just rolling it and lifting it. And At this point the foliage that we'll be doing here we're going to leave it with nice crisp edges. I'm going to do very little blending in this foreground. So you can see I added white and I added some yellow. You always want to add that yellow as you go lighter to be sure you warm the color up and it doesn't go too cool on you. Just here and there. A lot of paint on the brush. You can see I'm going back often to pick up more paint because these are the thickest layers. You have the most paint on your brush that you're depositing. 